हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर शिवम शेडगे फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एस एम जोशी कॉल जडब सर दिस इज आवर नाइन्थ लेक्चर ऑन ग्रुप थेरी इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर स्टडी द सेंट्रल ग्रुप बट वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सेंट्रलाइजर ऑफ एन इलेवन मीन्स सी ऑफ ए इन अ प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट द सेंट्रलाइजर ऑफ ए मीन्स दैट सेंट्रलाइजर ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू कलेक्शन ऑफ दो इलेमेंट इन अ जी That is x belongs to G such that x are commit with A means A x is equal to x. It means that collection of those elements in a G that are commit with A then it is called as centralizer of A. In this lecture we are studying the center of group. It means center of group. सेंटर ऑफ ग्रुप लेट जी बी ग्रुप लेट जी बी ए ग्रुप एंड लेट जी बी ग्रुप एंड सेंटर ऑफ ग्रुप सेंटर ऑफ ग्रुप इज डिनोटेड बाय जेड ऑफ जी सेंटर ऑफ ग्रुप is denoted by z of g and defined as and defined as z of g is equal to set containing those element in a g such that xg is equal to gx for of g belongs to capital that is those element in a group g such that they are commutes with all elements in a group g is called as center of group g म्हणजे असे एलिमेंटचं कलेक्शन करायचं की जे ग्रुप मधल्या सगळ्या एलिमेंट बरोबर त्यांनी काय केलं पाहिजे कॉम्पिटेटिव्ह प्रॉपर्टी सॅटिस्फाय केली पाहिजे आणि जर तसं असेल तर तो एलिमेंट कसे जाणार आहे झेड ऑफ जीवन आणि ह्या सगळ्यांचं कलेक्शन म्हणजे आपलं असतो सेंटर ऑफ ग्रुप जी ना चला As like in previous lecture, we are studying the center of centralizer of A. Then theorem is centralizer of A is a subgroup of G. Here we see the center Z of G is a subgroup of group G. That is Z of G less equal G means that centralizer of sorry center of group G is always subgroup of group G. So we have to prove this theorem. For proving this theorem, we have to show by two methods. By Z of G itself forms a group, and Z of G is a subset of G. Therefore, Z of G is a subgroup of G, and also it is is shown by if A comma B belongs to Z of G, then A B inverse belongs to Z of G. So we are taking let G be a group. Let G be a group and Z of G is the center of G is defined by collection of those element in a G such that X G is equal to G X or G B X. So we have to show that this Z of G forms a group. In a Z of G, all elements are Contained in G, therefore Z of G is always subset of G because collection of elements in a G. So Z of G is a subset of G. We have to show that Z of G is a subgroup of G. So let us take A comma B belongs to Z of G. A comma B belongs to Z of G, and we have to show that that is claim A B inverse belongs to A B inverse belongs to Z of G. Now, for showing this, firstly we show. Firstly, we show B inverse belongs to Z of G. For proving this, firstly we take let we are getting B belongs to Z of G. 
Here B belongs to zero G means B satisfies this property. This implies B G is equal to G B for all G belongs to G. So pre and post multiplying by B inverse on both sides we get B inverse B G into B inverse is equal to B inverse G B into B inverse for all G belongs to capital G. So this implies here G is a group therefore associated to holding a group G. So we get B inverse B into G B inverse is equal to B inverse B into G B we know that B inverse into B is equal to identity and identity into G B inverse is equal to G B inverse is equal to sorry B inverse G into B inverse is equal to B inverse into G here B into B inverse is equal to identity and identity into B inverse is equal to B inverse G of G belongs to G. That is here we are saying G B inverse is equal to B inverse G. Therefore here B inverse belongs to G. This implies B inverse belongs to G. Now we have to only show that A B inverse belongs to G. So we are considering consider Consider A B inverse into G is equal. And we have to show that A B inverse G X G is equal to G X. That is, we have to show that A B inverse G is equal to G into A B inverse. For and this is true, then A B inverse belongs to G. So now we can say A B inverse into G is equal to A in a bracket. B inverse G by associated we are getting A in a bracket B inverse G but B inverse G is equal to G B inverse therefore we are getting G B inverse by associated we are getting A G into B inverse but A belongs to general G therefore A commits with all the elements of G therefore we are getting G A into B inverse is equal to that we are getting for any G belongs to capital G. G A into B inverse bus we will get G into A B inverse here. A B inverse into here we are getting A B inverse into G is equal to G into A B inverse for all G belongs to G for all G belongs to G. Therefore, by definition of center of group, we get A B inverse belongs to Z of G. A B inverse belongs to Z of G. Okay. Therefore, for if A comma B belongs to Z of G, then A B inverse belongs to Z of G. Therefore, Z of G is a subgroup of G. By the theorem, if A B belongs to H, then A B inverse belongs to H, then we can say that H is a subgroup of Therefore, by this theorem, we get Z of G is a subgroup of G. Okay. Next. Theorem. In abelian group, Z of G is equal to G. If G is abelian group, then Z of G is equal to G. So let like G be abelian. Here we know that G is a group, then G satisfies 
कॉम्बिटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज ए बी ए बी इज इक्वल टू बी ए और ए कॉमा बी बिलोंग्स टू सी ए कॉमा बी बिलोंग्स टू जी देर फोर ए बी एंड बी देर फोर ऑल इलेवेंट्स ऑफ ग्रुप जी आर कॉम्यूट्स विद ईच अदर देर फोर ऑल इलेवेंट्स ऑल इलेवेंट्स लेट एक्स बिलोंग्स टू जी बी एरिया Let x belongs to G be any element, and we have to show that G is a subset of set of G. For proving, we can tag x belongs to G be any. For showing this, but G is abelian group, and in abelian group, all the elements are commutes with each other. Therefore, x commutes with each other for all elements that x G is equal to G X, or G belongs to F. Because G is a binary group, therefore X G is equal to J X for all. G belongs to capital G. This implies X belongs to J. By definition of center of group G. This implies G is subset of J. But center of G is subset of G always. Therefore, by this and this, we get the equality G is equal to. G is equal to G of G. Also, Connors is true. If G of G is equal to G, then G is abelian. Similarly, we can show if G of G is equal to G, and then we have to show that A star B is equal to B star A. Now, next example. Let like G is equal to let G is equal to set category E A G C with composition table with composition table E into E, E, A, B, C, A, E, C, B, B, C, E, A, C, B, A. By this composition table, we have to find center of group G. Find center of G. We have to find center of G. For finding center of G, we see for E, E into A is equal to E into A is equal to A into E. Also, e into b is equal to b into e. Therefore, e b is equal to b. Also, e c is equal to c. This implies e belongs to the group. E commutes with all elements in the group. Therefore, e belongs to the group. Next, for a. For a, we a into e. A into E is equal to A is equal to A and A is also is equal to A. Therefore, A is equal to E. A into A is equal to A into A. Always. A B is equal. To a B is equal to C and also B A is equal to C and A C. Is equal to a into c is equal to b and c into a is also equal to b. So we get a c is equal to c. This implies a to commute with all elements in a group. Therefore, a belongs to. Similarly, similarly, 
B comma C belongs to Z. Similarly, you can show B and C belongs to Z of G. This implies Z of G is equal to set containing E A B C is equal to group G. Is equal to group G. This implies Z of G is equal to this is our answer. Find Z of G. Z of G is equal to A, A, B, C is equal to G. But also, for our knowledge, if J of G is equal to G, then G is available. This implies G is available. In this example, G is available. In this in this example, G is available. Okay. Now, we are discussing about the Euler function. Euler function. This is not in your syllabus, but this is essential for algebra. Euler phi function means that it is a function, it is a function from positive natural number to positive natural number, sorry, positive integers to positive integers and it is defined by Euler phi function is denoted by is denoted by phi and defined by defined by phi of n is the is the number of positive integer is the number of positive integer less than n less than n and relatively prime to relatively prime to n relatively prime to n means a is relatively prime to n if and only a is Relatively prime to n if its GCD with n is equal to 1. That is, phi of n means that the number of elements less than n and relatively prime to n. That is, number of positive integers less than n and relatively prime to n. That is, for example, we are seeing phi of we know phi of phi, phi, less than phi are elements 1, 2, 3 and 4 and relatively prime to phi means GCD of 1 and phi is equal to 1, GCD of 2 and phi is also 1, 3 and phi is also 1, 4 and phi is also 1. Therefore, there are 4 numbers are less than phi and relatively prime to phi. Another example is phi of 6. We have to find less than 6 elements and they are relatively prime to 6. So, first is 1. 1 is less than 6 and relatively prime to 6 because GCD of 1 and 6 is 1. So, here 1 is also element for 2. 2 is less than 6 but GCD of 2 and 6 is equal to 2. Therefore, 2 is not relatively prime to 6. 3 and 6, GCD of 3 and 6 is equal to 3, therefore they, 3 is not relatively prime to 6, 4 and 6, GCD of 4, 6 is equal to 2, therefore this is not relatively prime to 6, GCD of 5 and 6 is equal to 1, therefore there are 2 elements, therefore 5 of 6 is equal to 2. Just phi of 6, phi of n means n, n is relatively prime as number 
टोटल टोटल नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स सॉरी टोटल नंबर ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स लेस देन एन म्हणजे एन पेक्षा लहान आणि एन ला रिलेटिव्हली प्राइम रिलेटिव्हली प्राइम म्हणजे काय असतं त्या दोघांचं दुसरी काय पाहिजे वन आला पाहिजे ठीक आहे ओके अल्सो फाइन फाइव ऑफ टेन इन अ फाइव टेन वन इज रिलेटिव्हली प्राइम टू टेन टू इज जिसर ऑफ टू एन टेन इज टू सो टू इज नॉट काउंट काउंटेड थ्री एंड टेन जिस ऑफ थ्री टेन इज इक्वल टू वन देर फोर थ्री इज काउंटेड टू फोर जिस ऑफ फोर एंड टेन इज इक्वल टू टेन देर फोर फोर इज नॉट काउंटेड जिस ऑफ फाइव एंड टेन इज इक्वल टू फाइव देर फोर फाइव इज नॉट काउंटेड जिस ऑफ सिक्स एंड टेन इज इक्वल टू टू देर फोर सिक्स इज नॉट काउंटेड जिस ऑफ सेवन एंड टेन इज इक्वल टू थ्री देर फोर सेवन इज काउंटेड जिस ऑफ एट एंड टेन इज इक्वल टू टू सो एट इज नॉट काउंटेड जिस ऑफ नाइन एंड टेन इज इक्वल टू वन देर फोर नाइन इज काउंटेड देर फोर फाइव ऑफ टेन इज इक्वल टू ना वी हैव अ फॉर्म्युला फॉर अ फाइव फंक्शन लेट अस डिस्कस द फॉर्म्युला ऑफ फाइव फंक्शन नेक्स्ट नोट फर्स्ट फाइव ऑफ एन इफ n is equal to means prime factorization of n is equal to p1 raised to k1 p2 raised to k2 and up to some pr raised to kr where p1 p2 pr all all are distinct primes then all are distinct primes then phi of n is equal to n in a bracket 1 minus 1 upon p1 into 1 minus 1 upon p2 into up to some 1 minus 1 upon Yeah. One minus one upon. Yeah. This is the formula for finding either phi function of any integer n. Also, phi of n is equal to so phi of p is equal to p minus one when p is a prime. Because prime number. is relatively prime to all the elements those are less than p next third five p raised to k is equal to p raised to k minus p raised to k minus 1 and also fourth problem lies five m into n is equal to five m into five n whenever whenever m and n are relatively prime that is gcd of m comma n where gcd of n comma n is equal to y this is satisfy if gcd of m n is equal to 1 that is m is relatively prime to n. these are those are the formula for finding euler phi function now we discuss the examples of euler phi function that is phi Find phi of hundred. For finding phi of hundred, we discuss the hundred. Prime factorization of hundred is divided by two. We get fifty divided by two. Then we get twenty five divided by five. Then we get five divided by five. Then we get one. Therefore, which is equal to two square into five square. That is all distinct primes. Therefore. Phi of hundred is equal to hundred into one minus one upon p one minus two into one minus one upon five is equal to hundred into two one minus one by two is equal to one by two and one minus one by five is equal to four by five is equal to five one by five twenty ten one four. So five of hundred is equal to four. Okay. Now five four. We know that forty three is a prime number. Therefore, five forty three is equal to forty three minus one is equal to forty. If p is a prime, then phi of p is equal to p minus one, and p is not a prime. That is, 
it is composite number then five we are finding this by 5 n is equal to n in a bracket 1 minus 1 upon p1 into 1 minus 1 upon p2 and up to some 1 minus 1 upon p r now example show that show that Z5 star into multiplication of the five forms a cyclic forms a cyclic. We have to show this set forms a group and this is cyclic group. Therefore, solution. For proving this Z5 star, Z5 star means that those. Collection of those elements in a Z five that are unit element or multiplicative inverse element means it has multiplicative inverse. That is, Z five star is equal to one bar, two bar, three bar, and four. Bar. In Z five star, those element has multiplicative inverse. That is. One bar, two bar, three bar, four bar. Multiplication one to five. One bar, two bar, three bar, and four. Here we multiply to each other. One bar, two bar, three bar, four bar, two bar, four bar, six bar means one bar because in a multiplication one to five, six is one, and it is a three bar. Next three bar into Six bar means one bar. Nine bar means four bar. Twelve bar means two bar. Next four bar into one bar. Four bar. Four bar into two bar. Eight bar. Eight bar means three bar. Two bar and one bar. Therefore, therefore, by this table, closure property is known first. Closure. By this table, we see that Z five star with respect to multiplication five is closed. Second, associated with by this table, we see a multiplication model of five B multiplication model of five C is equal to a multiplication model of five. B multiplication of five C. By this table, we see that this property is hold that associated to hold in a Z five star associated holds in a Z five star. Third, existence of identity. Existence of identity. For finding the existence of identity, here we see that one bar is multiplied by any element. Then we get this element. That is one bar into one bar is equal to one bar. Two bar into one bar is equal to two bar. Three bar into one bar is equal to three bar. Four bar into one bar is equal to four bar. That is, there is one bar belongs to zero five star such that a into one bar is equal to a is equal to one bar into a. That is. A bar multiplication model of five. Multiplication model of five. Therefore, one bar is an identity. Is an identity in Z five star. In Z five star. Now we will discuss the existence of inverse. Existence of inverse. For finding inverse, we have to find of let A belongs to G. Then we have to find find B belongs to G. So that A star B is equal to identity is equal to B star. That is, we have to find this. 
by this table 1 inverse in 1 into sum 11 to 1 is equal to 1 bar so 1 inverse is equal to 1 bar 2 inverse is equal to 3 bar so 2 bar inverse is equal to 3 bar also 3 bar inverse is equal to 2 bar and 4 bar inverse is equal to 4 bar ok 4 bar into 4 bar is equal to 1 bar therefore 4 bar inverse is equal to 4 bar therefore here all elements in a 0 5 star has inverse in a 0 5 star therefore inverse of each element in a 0 5 star is contained in Z5 star. Therefore, fourth property is or therefore Z5 star with respect to multiplication modulo 5 forms a group. Forms a group. Now we have to show that this group is a cyclic. For proving this, this group is cyclic. This group is cyclic. We find this is a subgroup generated by all its elements. If subgroup generated by element, some element in a group Z5 star is equal to Z5 star, then this is a cyclic group, otherwise not a cyclic group. So find cyclic group generated by 1 is equal to 1 by 1 by this term such that n belongs to Z is equal to 1 by multiplication model for 1 by Modulo 5 1 bar such so that n belongs to z n times. So we get 1 bar is multiplied by n times 1 bar, then we get 1 bar. So we are getting cyclic group gen subgroup generated by 1 bar is equal to single tensile 1 bar. If 2 bar is equal to we get 2 bar into 2 bar 1 times multiplied then 2 bar 2 times multiplied then 4 bar if 3 times multiplied then 2 bar into 2 bar into 2 bar is equal to 8 bar but in multiplication modulo 5 8 bar is equal to 3 bar and if 4 times multiplied then we get 2 bar into 2 bar into 2 bar into 2 bar is 16 bar but 16 bar is also equal to 1 bar Cyclic group generated by 3 bar is equal to 3 bar. 3 bar into 3 bar, 9 bar is equal to 4 bar in multiplication order of 5. 3 bar into 3 bar into 3 bar is 27, but 27 in a multiplication order of 5 is 2, therefore it is 2 bar. And 3 into 3 into 3 into 3, 4 times meet means 81, but 81 is equal to 1 bar in multiplication order of 5. 1 times then we get 4 bar, 2 times then we get 4 bar into 4 bar is equal to 16 bar, but 16 bar is equal to 1 in a multiplication modulo 5. Therefore, here we see that multiplication cyclic of group generated by 2 bar is equal to 0 5 star, and also cyclic group generated by 3 bar is also 0 5 star. Therefore, 0 5 star is a cyclic group and it is generated by 2 bar and 3 bar that is it has two generators 2 bar and 3 bar so we will stop here now any query about this then tell freely on a comment box or message thank you for watching this video thank you thank you very much